Galnet News Update, 8th of December 3308. The Liz Ryder Zachariah Nemo improved AX multi-cannon has been greenlit in record time, and just in time for the arrival of the 4th and 5th Stargoids. And they're getting straight on with the further initiative to develop another improved anti-Xeno weapon. A truly concerted effort by more than 3,500 pilots completed what was supposed to be an eight-week marathon hauling effort to deliver a manufacturing facility for a new AX multi-cannon in little more than a single day. With the Thargoids apparently gaining the upper hand in many of the attack systems, the need for better weaponry is being felt keenly. The two engineers promised to make the multi-cannon available at all rescue megaships by the following Thursday. But they didn't make it clear whether that meant the Thursday following completion, which is the 8th of December, or the Thursday of the week following completion, which would be 15th of December. It's hard to pin these engineers down to a clear commitment. Following the success of the AX multi-cannon, Ryder and Nemo have launched a second campaign, this time based at Liz Ryder's favourite station, Awaira Flurable, in Eurybia. The requirements and quantities are the same as for the multi-cannon when it's successful, and there can be no doubt that it will be successful. An improved, turreted AX missile rack will be sold at all rescue megaships. The two new Thargoid maelstroms, Kohiko and Oya, arrived in the Col 285 sector BA-P, C6-18 and Cephe sector BV-YB4 systems, respectively, on the 8th of December, with the remaining three likely to arrive next week. The maelstroms appear to be forming a semicircle around the southern edge of the inhabited bubble. More systems have been invaded, more systems are under attack and more stations are being blockaded by Thargoids. More systems are also under Thargoid alert, with Thargoid sensors and probes being used to scout out the prospects for an attack. There's some additional clarity on how the war against Thargoids will be tracked. Systems the Thargoids are interested in will take several weeks to progress from a state of Thargoid alert to Thargoid invasion or from Thargoid invasion to Thargoid control. Each week humanity has a chance to fight Thargoids, to bring in emergency supplies and to evacuate refugees. If the purple progress bar is filled in by the end of the week then humanity has won and the Thargoids will be ejected from the system. And the system will enter a period of post-Thargoid recovery with stations being repaired and brought back online. If that bar has not been filled it gets reset and humanity has another chance to defeat the Thargoids. But if, after several weeks, the time to infestation counter expires before humanity has filled the progress bar, the Thargoids will have completed their invasion, and humanity will be expelled, leaving dead, gooey green stations, and the Thargoids firmly in control. The progress bars are not easy to fill. It will require a concerted and coordinated effort by humanity to target and recover perhaps just one system per week. It will be a long and slow war of attrition, but if the Thargoids are not pushed back, they will advance. And in a couple of years, we'll be looking at a completely green bubble. Professor Albert Ezro believes there's some room for hope. With the arrival of the two new Stargoids, she believes that the Thargoid presence will be spread more thinly, along a much longer front line, significantly improving humanity's chances of defending and even recapturing systems. Tesro believes that it's imperative that we find out more about the Maelstroms, and it seems likely that she'll be arranging some sort of research programme in the coming weeks. Former Azimuth Biochemicals test subject Xiao Jin Ai, who has a partial neural connection to the Thargoid hive mind, believes that the Thargoids have a definite goal. Their advance into the human bubble has a specific aim and is not as random as it might at first seem. The people who some blame for starting this war, Azimuth Biotech, claim to have commissioned their new anti-Xeno megaship Eternal Vigilance in Azimuth's home system Titori. It appears to have some sort of advanced cloaking device fitted, because it's currently 
nowhere to be seen in the Titori system. Titori is light years away from the Thargoid conflict. Given the damage done by Azimuth in the past, it's perhaps for the best that they keep their invisible megaship well out of the way. <laughs>